Okay. Hello again, Glitch Reaper here. I'm back in the mushroom biome at sunset for a very special occasion, or at least attempt to do so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of got an interesting plan here that involves a lot of stuff, uh, and I'm gonna kind of show you through the steps of how I'm thinking of doing this. So yeah, mind the fact that I've got a few things built that, because I'm going to definitely show them off in more detail uh, later. And it has to do with that. Oh, is, is it is it time? Please be the one. I need you to be the one zombie. No, they're not the right type of zombies. Oh. Uh, it's gonna do something really impressive. But will the zombies let me? No, because they're the wrong zombies. I needed zombie villagers. But you're not the right ones. So just give me that stuff, and I'll, I'll, I'll get more. Did it just submarine through the... It did. It submarined. It, it, well, this is an old version. We're in 1.6.4. Please remember that. Hey, you. Want to see one from a pro? Yeah. That's what you get. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a little more uh, tension on my on my bow there. So, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to show off the process, and they just didn't want to agree with me there. Oh, experience orb. Okay, I'll I'll take that. Okay, there we go, there we go. Anyhow, the plan was basically to do it kind of like this procedure. Uh, because I want to found myself a mushroom village, and which I've kind of got mostly built. And the thing is, to do that, I will actually need some testificates there. So I need to get, I need to have some villagers to actually village. Uh, and the thing is that I was going to do it kind of like I did there and try to spawn stuff in, and specifically trying to look for a, a zombie villager, because then I can cure them. I do have myself, say, nice golden apples, and I have splash potions of weakness at the ready. I've got three of each in a chest waiting, so on the rare occasion they show up, I will be ready to handle pretty much one at a time. But it should be pretty good that way. And I'm loaded with... Uh, with stuff. Okay. Well, I have a solution. It's called, I will use this to expand the size of the spawning area. Oops. Already kind of done that a time or two. Yoink. Okay, got some bones. But yeah, basically if I stay somewhere around the coast or bob around here in the water, uh, they'll spawn in because they're outside the mushroom biome. Technically, that's ocean, and it is a natural island. The ocean isn't exactly perfectly <laughs> flat water, even in this version. So that means that it's perfectly capable of producing an island on occasion. And when that happens, uh, you can get all sorts of uh, regular hostile mobs as usual, including an enderman that decided to try to steal one of those grass blocks and just go away before ever placing it. Uh, a little rude there. Uh, you just had to be that guy. Uh, as for right now, the big thing is try to get a zombie villager, preferably before sunlight comes up. But anyhow, see anybody else interesting showing up? Anybody at all? 
Hello. Wait. I see. Ah, it's just a regular zombie. But if I if I just defeat them, I can also pop the mob cap down a bit. The uh, skeleton over there is definitely going to be a bit more of a sniper issue. Although, I can also use this in a funny way. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I see. I liked mob battles in even vanilla Minecraft long before I did the modded. Where are you going? Did he literally just go all the way down? Submarine attack. Ah, it didn't work this time. Okay, I'll just have to arrow him. Take you, take you. That's what you get for interfering with my plan. <laughs> uh, the mobs are just not agreeing with me today. I, I, I just want to have the right kind of zombie to found a village. Is that really just too much to ask for? Apparently, it's kind of borderline. <laughs> but they, they're just not agreeing with me. Uh, I just wanted to lure a zombie into a nice little holding pin I've got prepared. And then after they transform, I'd, I'd, I'd make sure that they could join up with the village. And then that's, that's the plan. But is it happening? No! Well, since there's nothing on the island right now that I need to attend to, I'll pretty much show what I was going to do about that and then pop back here and see if anything shows up. Preferably by the end of night. So, yeah. But yeah, my plan was uh, get a zombie villager interested. Uh, get them lured up to here where I've got some nice steps prepared. Uh, possibly get the curing process started early by throwing them a splash potion of weakness and then giving them a golden apple. Uh, because the thing is that they will still follow you even while being cured. I'd let them chase me up through here, which will be a preferable path. Close the door behind them. And then uh, they'll be in here, where it's made uh, pretty heavily out of iron bars and a bed. Because they actually will transform faster whenever they have these blocks nearby. I didn't go for quite the full build, uh, build because they can detect in a 9x9x9 cuboid around them. And, but that's because of a little problem that I'm going to show up here. If you make the top completely out of iron bars, then they can fall through. And this area is right next to this building, this little mushroom house I've made here. So that would be a bit of a hazard for them. In fact, I'm going to be trimming some stuff around the general uh, side around here to make sure that they don't path in that direction. Because if a villager sees a sheer enough drop to count as fall damage, they generally won't take it unless they shove each other off or something. So only if their population gets high do you usually have that, that issue. And because most people try to maximize their villages or special villager farms, they tend to get really pushy really fast. Uh, I am thinking of extending the village in more than one way because I'm thinking of taking some of the uh, uh, dirt that I harvest and using it to extend it to more of a plateau. I can also put buildings in some nice convenient flat areas like that one and that mushroom over there and make some additional mushroom housing. In fact, that one might even be possible. Can I jump to this? Well, I, I can jump to it, but they wouldn't be able to, so I'd have to make them a little extra path to get on top of that one. But yeah, I can make more mushroom uh, housing around here, but I will be needing a few of them to act as founders. And hence why I've got my... Uh, zombie medic supplies because I get them to show up there I lure them into my little facility to rest it off and then whenever they're done I open this and they will naturally try to find any doors to go to for housing so it should make it fairly easy to get them to go into this village if only I can actually encourage them to do so because again uh, 
zombie testificates don't show up too terribly often. So, yeah, I might be waiting a while <laughs> in more than one off-camera uh, off time, actually. I, I, I'll be having a few sessions where that's probably what I'm doing, is waiting in that general area, waiting for stuff to spawn, and and then trying to lure out a zombie testificate specifically. But yeah, some a lot of this will have to go. Uh, not necessarily on this side, because that's nowhere near the, uh, the, the zombies over there, so it's nowhere near zombie town. Uh, but any other place that might lead them to where the zombies might attack them, I can't have them wandering that way. Uh, so I'll have to carefully sculpt that, shave off more than a bit of mycelium. I do have the proper shovel for it, though. Uh, it was great finding that old silk touch book. <laughs> that, 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 that was just... That was just beautiful that I still had one of those. Uh, I could probably enchant a few more and just see what I get, and maybe get something useful. So that that's a possibility. And I don't have to worry about lapis in, in this version, because it's uh, way before the 1.8 change on enchantment. So it's just random every time. No lock-ons, no lapis, just enchant away. And uh, obviously I can get a lot of levels really quickly. So in terms of some of the things I was wanting to do, I can definitely do one of the things I'd always wanted to do, and that's actually found a, a village in a mushroom biome. Because it, it has all sorts of interesting consequences, <laughs> including the fact that any zombies uh, that do spawn, unless it's specifically a siege event, and I'm not sure they technically have those in this version, they won't be able to spawn anywhere nearby because of the mushroom biome. So they're particularly safe, or at least it confines it to zombies only. So, yeah... So before I head out, I'm going to pick up my trusty bowl and get myself a nice uh, mushroom over here. So yeah, I've still got some stuff to do to complete my build there. And that should be really good getting that taken care of, because I'd always wanted to do that. So getting back in this world has been really nice for things like that, where I can finally just accomplish uh, some of those classic goals in Minecraft. Like old school Minecraft, like like here we are way before the update to change the world. <laughs> so yeah, th this is this is definitely doing it for me. So I'm, I'm probably going to do this longer than I was originally uh, planning. Especially when some things have kind of uh, kind of redirected me a bit and reminded me that there was more things I was wanting to do. So yeah. But let's see. That island, I, I might just keep doing what I was doing a bit too. I might be grabbing like extra dirt from around and expanding this island. Because if I do that, I'll have at least more surface area to work with. I think this stuff over here is dirt too. It might be sand. Because we're using classic ocean. Uh, so that's also a thing. Oh, that is that is dirt. That is in fact dirt. Good, good. I can actually use this to expand this island, so that, that's nice. It may have, it, it was almost an island of its own. It almost hit the water level. I can, I can literally just wade right here. So that, that says something. So yeah, I can take additional dirt and expand this uh, item, uh, this, <laughs> the, uh, this island over time. Maybe a few other blocks, although dirt will be preferable because it'll uh, kind of look nice. Uh, darn lips again. It'll kind of look nice as the grass expands over it. And we get that to be looking very natural. Uh, that that way, it doesn't look like it's like out of place or artificial or anything like that. So it'll go along with the natural theme of the island as just being how it was mostly intended on being, with the uh, addition of a certain uh, set of dwellings here that they themselves look like they were carved out of the natural materials. And even the way that I tended to do the uh, fences underneath with the extra short shrooms. Uh, it tends to make them look like they're kind of uh, rooting into place even more. So at least that's how I kind of thought of it. So that, that gives them an additional uh, look to it, as if you'd literally grown this house rather than built this house. And admittedly, I did have to grow the actual shroom itself anyhow. I mean, I just, I had to, I used a lot of bone meal and shrooms to get these to work out right. So, yeah. Uh, so, but even just the the choice of other things that makes it look ra rather grown. However, uh, after 1.8, if I do this again, 
I might use different colors of doors and uh, and stairs and fences because I mean if I, I could find possibly a better color scheme to go with this maybe I mean this looks kind of right but at the same time uh, I'm wondering if the fact that whenever they differentiate it more uh, which you know they already have quite some time ago this is an old version again but I'm wondering like if I go past that point and actually build another mushroom village again will it be able to have a better look to the shroom houses that's what I'm wondering can I make these mushroom huts look better afterwards because uh, again going classic here but at the same time could I do better in later versions because there's no reason why I couldn't do this in like 1.12.2 and beyond I mean especially whenever I know some ways of finding mushroom biomes it's pretty good then and they seem to be a little more common in later versions I mean finding this mushroom biome the way I did really helped out and because they are they are fairly rare so they're hard to get a hold of so yeah but in later versions it seems like they're a bit more common so it would make it easier to do this again I've literally casually run across mushroom biomes before in later versions so I know that they're probably more common either that or I'm just lucky finding them uh, it, it, it could be that it could just be natural luck with finding a mushroom biome uh, yeah but I think kind of describing the build here and what my general plan is is and uh, how the process is gonna work It'll probably be all I need to do for now I will probably again sculpt some of the other area to make sure that they don't uh, fall off or stray near zombie town over there so yeah I think that's pretty much all for now because uh, there's some other things I uh, want to be doing in this version but they'll probably be for another time and probably be a bit more dedicated like I don't know, maybe finally doing like a classic uh, Enderman farm in the end or something like that. Uh, so that would be kind of interesting. I may check out a few alternate ways to do it that worked in this version. But it's kind of something I hadn't really done before or needed to do. Because I've always found other ways or at least not had bad luck finding enderpearls. <laughs> so, yeah. For now though, I guess that's it for uh, this time. So, this has been Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from y'all later, so bye for now, everybody.